Hello and welcome to Class Evolution. Today we're going to be talking about the Ranger. Now, the Ranger has definitely changed throughout time. They originally started off in 2nd edition as a uh, subclass of the Warrior. And they were the only ones who could dual wield in 2nd edition without penalty. Which made them very, very unique. You know, right off the bat, two attacks every round. Which gave them a fairly good amount of power early on. And, uh, however, unfortunately it did not extend to their bow. Making the ranger not nearly as skilled with the bow as one would think based upon the name. Because they couldn't weapon specialize. And, you know, they, ne they never gained anything for multi-attacking with their bow as far as I'm aware. Which was it, in my opinion it kind of forced dual wielding to be unique otherwise you just might play a bow fighter that way you could at least specialize in said weapon but the ranger while it had its downfalls in the fact of that it it couldn't specialize and it had strength in that dual wielding it got a lot of support with the complete ranger it is a fantastic book with tons of new options for the ranger from you know all the kits that they can get awesome like one one of my favorites is the falconer and as the name implies you get a falcon which can do a lot of really cool tasks like basic tasks you could tell it to go and fly and steal said uh, they could lift up to 10 pounds i want to say you know just go take that thing and it flies off your arm grabs it and brings it back to you so it can be really helpful and it's a really good flavor honestly and uh I, I was just a big fan of all of that ranger stuff from second edition then we moved into three five and third edition and pathfinder and the ranger got a lot of new stuff because with the new feet system the ranger was given a lot of um ability with their bow you know if they shoot they could choose dual, dual wield still which dual wielding got worse in 3.5 because you'd still suffer a penalty so it was only all right whereas bow you know they got a whole bunch of cool feats there was a lot of support for being a bow a bowman and i, I was I, I liked it a lot I thought that now they were super, they were specialized, you know, they could really be either two weapon or bow without too much problem. But one thing that I felt was a downfall was was bad addition to the ranger was the addition of spells. Now that's not to say they weren't useful, but I felt that because with the addition of spells, then the focus of the ranger became something that it wasn't originally. Now all of a sudden they uh, they were lumped in with divine characters instead of you know kind of their own thing where they should have been with the fighter and all that stuff. So a lot of the prestige classes based around the ranger predominantly became divine oriented versus with their spells. Now I personally feel that the spells could have been dropped in lieu of something else like mobility, for example, from the scout class from three five, where you know they move up to I think. If they move at least five or ten feet, they get an extra D6 damage or it went up like the sneak attack, which was really good. So the prestige class support for 3-5 I felt wasn't very good because they try to focus on the spells a lot. And I felt that kind of also didn't help the class, but they did get a lot of feats because of archery based feats. Or, and two weapon fighting feeds. But those weren't really ranger specific. So I felt that the 3 5 ranger lost a lot. And then we move into 4. Now, 4 originally kind of forced you into uh, using a bow. Because they didn't give you high enough armor class to be good dual wielding because 
your armor was still kind of meh, and you were supposed you couldn't get weapon finesse because it's not a feat; it's an ability. So you lost a lot there, and it, it bothered me for a little bit that uh, to dual wield you had to use strength, but you didn't have the armor class or weapon finesse. So they began to lose a lot for their two weapon fighting, but their archery abilities were really really awesome. But you know, then we're back to the just the complete opposite of what second edition did, where they really made one not super good and the other one really awesome. But what Wizards then did was they released their Essentials line, which took the two classes, well, it took the Ranger and broke it into two subclasses of it, the Hunter and the Scout. The Scout being the two weapon fighting one and the Hunter being the Bowman. Making them both really, really awesome classes themselves, but at the same time limiting limiting them greatly because the Essentials line is really, really awesome for some classes, but really, really bad for other. Well, not really, really bad, but overly specialized in some cases to the point where there's not a lot of support for them anymore. Key example is the Knight class. At a certain point, there's not much you can do except follow its tree and get buff feet, tank feet, really. But I digress. But the support for the Ranger is all it's great there is so much support for the ranger in the martial powers because now and for the uh, ranger was moved to a martial power and the spells were removed which i was happy to see so ultimately though i have to say i think my favorite ranger is Either a 4E bow range or a 4E ranger or a second edition ranger. Because both of them have so many cool things that it's very, very hard to decide. But it, it'd either be second edition ranger or a 4E ranger. So leave your thoughts and comments below. Until next time, have a good one.